Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide uh, commentary and education on sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. As an orthopedic surgeon, one of the uh, common uh, questions I get, and it comes after any surgery that I do that involves putting implants and hardware in like screws or plates and screws or suture anchors uh, or rods down the center of the bone and we do these different types of implants for a variety of different injuries but I get a lot of questions about you know do, does the hardware need to be removed is it going to cause a problem in the future is it going to set off metal detectors at airports and it's asked by elite level athletes but it's asked by everybody else too people that just want to go back to sports or or go back to work or go back to school School. So in this Ask Dr. Geyer video, I answer that question about a very specific type of injury. Vikas asks, I broke my right ankle a year ago. Can I play football while there's still a plate in or should I remove it and then I should play? And that's a terrific question and I don't know that there's an absolute right answer, but I'll give you my thoughts. When we do an ankle fracture, depending on which bone is broken around the ankle, usually on the bone on the inside of the ankle is just two screws that we put in. On the outside of the ankle, uh, we'll usually fix it with a plate and screws. And the, uh, for the hardware on the inside of the ankle, that rarely bothers people, but sometimes on the, the, the fracture on the outside of the ankle, the lateral malleolus or the fibula, the, that plate and screws can bother people, uh, especially you know, pe really small or skinny people People, you can feel the screw heads. We don't have a lot of fat or muscle over that bone. That's why you can feel the bone on the outside of your ankle. And so some people, it can really irritate them and you might take it out. But for the vast majority of the people, the hardware doesn't cause them any pain. And if you're not having any problems, we don't take it out. We might take it out in the rare chance that it gets infected or the rare chance that the fracture doesn't heal. But for most people, including athletes going back to sports, if the hardware is not causing a problem and the fracture healed uneventfully, we leave it alone and we don't take it out. And I, I'm just guessing, but in my experience, I probably take out one or two percent of the plates and screws from ankle fractures. It's, it's very rare and in my experience again it's typically very thin females uh, just because they can feel that plate and screws uh, and it, it rubs on them with uh, certain types of sports maneuvers. Now the other reason I don't usually take them out and a lot of orthopedic surgeons routinely leave them in is that then you know you take the the hardware out but the screw holes have to kind of fill in with new bones so you might limit the activity uh, of that athlete or that patient for about four to six weeks you let them walk on it and that kind of thing but you probably wouldn't play high demand sports where you're landing from jumps and running mile after mile uh, so it might you know going in and having the hardware taken out which is not a big surgery it takes about 15 minutes typically but it may result in a six or eight week absence from sports now again if it's bothering you by all means go ahead and have it taken out but generally again assuming the fracture healed it's not an infection or wound issue uh, it's purely elective so you could do it at the end of a season uh, you know before you know, give yourself plenty of time uh, heading into next season you don't have to stop what you're doing and doing it uh, do it at the middle of the season now have you had uh, ankle fracture surgery and decided to have the hardware taken out or did you choose to leave it in there or um, what about other surgeries tibia fractures um, uh, you know rotate or cuff repairs, labral repairs, uh, did you ever have hardware taken out just because it was bothering you months and years uh, down the road? Share your thoughts, leave your comments in the, uh, basically right below this video. I'd love to hear your experiences. Now, if you have friends or family that have had ankle fractures or maybe you're gonna undergo ankle fracture surgery here in the near future, share this video with them. I'd be really appreciative. Plus, I hope it can help them uh, in some way as they prepare or as they recover from surgery. Now, if you like videos like this and want more information on injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention in sports and exercise, subscribe to my video channel. I record these videos about once or twice a week and you can uh, basically have those delivered uh, automatically several times a week. Last, if you want more resources on ways to stay healthy and perform your best in sports and exercise, go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, sign up for my email list. That's where I share some resources in about sports and exercise that I only share by email and it's completely free. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here in another Ask Dr. Geyer video.